Hi team, uh, welcome to Equip2 HQ. I'm standing here in front of the B5. Um, Paul Thompson will flick over this thing in a bit more depth for you. We've already had a couple of our customers come and view this machine. Um, the first thing they notice is that, that this thing is a beast. It's really well built, put together really strong, um, and it's made for breaking big rocks. So just opened up here into the flap, which is where the main control board is. So this is where you start your day. Same as all Keystreet machines. Um, really easy to use, functionality of the screen, um, turn it on, comes up with a nice little picture um, and then everything in there is, is pictorial so you go through and, and you set what you need. As always we supply the key tracks with the remote, um, so this remote it's a bit of a safety feature to be fair, um, so it saves the operator having to get in and out of the machine, you can track the machine from here um, and all your main key functions, your magnets, your auto start. Um, great little feature on the keys tracks is, is um, you can start the machine um, and then whack the auto start and everything will start up in sequence. So this makes it really easy to use. Um, hidden away in here too, convenient little battery charger, um, so you can have a battery on charge as well as your remote with you. One thing you notice with this machine um, and key check machine to general is, is straight away you, your eyes drawn to it um, is the size of the bulk of this chassis. Really, really strong milk machine. They use a Domex steel, so a full Domex steel in through the chassis. Um, really, really well put together. Um, Keystreet put a lot of time and effort into operator ease. So little things, this top hopper bin here can come and retract all the way back. So basically by undoing these bolts, there's a couple of cylinders underneath there, and that just slides that whole hopper assembly back. Now what that does for the operator's ease is, is getting in and changing the jaw plates. Um, so you get nice easy access into there and also um, your secondary screen mesh so underneath in there really easy to get into um, just one of those little things where they care about the operator so i'm just here now inside the hopper so you're looking at about five meter cube um, really cool features of these is, is these sidewalls are hydraulically foldable and lockable from the ground um, so there's no climbing up silly little ladders or trying to lock anything up in the top side of it the sidewalls here um, are a domex base so the full base of it, and then on top of that they've gone again with some hardox plating. This should last the lifetime of the machine. Um, really easy to change it or lay over if you do need to. Um, but in our opinion, um, there's no point in bringing these in without this extra lining. So we do that as a standard feature. So I'm just here on the feeder itself. Um, so this is a lineal feeder, um, and it's separate to the sidewalls of the hopper. So this bottom piece, obviously your material comes in. It gives a really nice consistent feed. Um, going on sideways and then what that does after that point you get the small drop down here and then you go onto this pre-screen um, so this is fitted off at the moment with a punch plate and then with a bottom mesh so it's a two deck it's the largest pre-screen in its class so what that'll do for you guys um, as operators and business owners is if you want to take the dirty material so if it's, if it's a bit mucky uh, in the bottom end um, you can take that product out scalp it out um, and take it out through the side belt um, if it is a bit cleaner and some of that sands is usable product, you can pull something like a 20 mil minus out through the side belt um, and then use it as a sellable product. Um, and then alternative that again, um, you can bypass that stuff underneath the jaw to blend back in post crushing. Um, Pre-screens save you a lot of time um, as far as production rates go. Um, so it just improves that for you um, and then also lessens your wear greatly as well. Um, so really great feature of the Keystrex is, is the size of their pre-screens. Just sitting over the jaw plates here, um, or the jaw box itself. So we've got an 1100 by 750 true opening. Great feature of the Keystrex is, as you'll see this jaw plate comes a long way up here, that's, that's movable. So that's always moving. What that'll do is it'll stop the product that it comes through. You sometimes get that bridging and it'll come and sit on top of it, but because it moves all the way up, um, that's lessened greatly. Um, this one here is fitted off, obviously you've got a nice dust suppression unit um, and then the magic eye, so this is what runs the machine and you can change the settings of that magic eye on how full your chamber is. So I'm just sitting now on the engine box, um, so this mo model specifically is an H model um, or a hydraulic or diesel standard engine configuration, but you see we've got this big hook here, um, so what that does is for an E machine you can basically have that would be the same configuration, and this would be a large generator or gen set. You can actually lift that off, put it over there somewhere and run it. Um, obviously being the electric model, if, if it was electric, it would have um, the electric drive motors and electric operation of the jaw and everything. So, but that's just something um, for future there. Obviously you can lift that right off, take the engine block right off. So just underneath here, underneath the hopper box, um, this is our diverter chute. 
Um, so as we discussed, you can bypass material underneath the jaw, or you can boost it out through the side belt. Um, really easy to change it, obviously, just with this handle, um, is how you can change it flat to be doing an all-in product, um, or going out through the side discharge belt. And just on the other side, so this is our discharge belt. Um, so this is the stuff that we take out through our pre-screen. As you can see, really nice wide belt. Um, all the key strap belts have a really high rip strength, um, which is quite a good feature for longevity of those belts. Um, as you can see, great discharge height um, for your pre-screen. So just folds up out of the way for transport. A great feature of, of the keys track machines is the quality of their builds. Um, so when they go in for a piston pump versus a gear, that really helps your fuel efficiency. Another cool thing that we really um, are big fans of ourselves is that you'll see all the steel hydraulic lines that are used. Now this will dissipate the heat really well, um, and if you can dissipate the heat, you need to have a smaller reservoir for your hydraulic fluid, but also it doesn't cook out your filters as fast either, so a bit more low cost in the, in the overall running of the machine. So right here in this area, uh, we have the overband magnet. Um, cool features of these is, is that you can hydraulically lift that up and down via the remote. So if you're doing a concrete recycling sort of a job, um, we all know how that uh, steel or the mesh rebar can bird's nest under there. Um, so you can actually just pop that up hydraulically to, to clear that, rather than having to dig in there and ferret it around. Um, so nice, some nice stainless steel applications in here, which uh, reduces the magnet losing its strength. Now at the end of the process, um, where your material is coming out the end belt, um, so once again, um, really high quality, high rip strength of the belts, um, with a discharge height of 3650, so 3.650 metres, um, really good stockpile, nice wide belt to get that product out through to the end process. If you want to know more about this machine or any others in our range, please feel free to reach out to us at Equip2.